Hello guys, my name is Muhammad Ali and welcome to Coding Cafe. So from this tutorial onward, we are going to start the advanced C-sharp course using Visual Studio. And in the previous video tutorial, we have successfully downloaded and installed the latest version of Visual Studio. So let's start this. So first of all, uh, I open the uh, Visual Studio and here you can see this create new project. So click on this create new project and this window will appear here and you can also uh, click here this file click new and click on project and you can see the same window appear here. So from here you can simply select this visual C sharp and then here you can see this console app dot net framework select this one and here we have our app name. So first in this video tutorial uh, this is our first program so let's name this as hello world which is basically our first program so hello world and yeah and this is the location that is where you want to store your these uh, C sharp projects so you can change the path by simply clicking here on this browser but I will uh, save my C sharp projects uh, I mean in, in this address okay so yeah that's it and now you can simply click on this OK and we have to wait for it and you can see that our new project is launched successfully and let me zoom it so you can see that first of all we have this using system using system dot collections and these so all these are basically the libraries so uh, I will explain it further uh, when we write the first hello world program okay so the second one comes the namespace the namespace basically is our um, project files that is uh, which classes and what what is basically our project and inside our project how much classes or which class on which class we are working so this means I mean this include uh, I, all these include inside this namespace so as you know that this is our project name which is hello world so this is basically the namespace after this uh, namespace or we can say our project we have the class program okay so if I show you then you can see that this is our namespace which is hello world and inside the namespace we have class program which is this program dot cs you can see that okay so this is our program dot cs I mean this is our class and then inside this we have the main function so basically all of our code or all the project which we will be developing all the code we will write inside this uh, man so now let's write our first program so we will write the console you can see this console dot write and whenever we uh, wrote this console and you press this dot then you can see all the built-in functions related to console appears here so the first one we will write console dot write line and there's these braces and inside this we can write a uh, first program which is hello world and put a semicolon here now this is uh, the console dot write line and all the built-in functions which are uh, inside this console which I show you then all these belongs to the system library if we remove this uh, system library from here then you will be able to see that here we got an error and it says the name console does not exist in the current context so all these belongs to the system so we have to write there and you can see the error is gone successfully and I will also explain all of these remaining libraries when we will be using the uh, the properties of these classes okay till now we have not used any uh, property from these libraries so I will explain it when we will be working on it in the upcoming video tutorials so now press control f5 and you can see this hello world in the output screen on this window and let's uh, let me tell you guys one more thing which is the uh, console dot write which is console dot write okay so we will differentiate this between the cons uh, dot write line and dot write so here I can simply write hello and let's write copy paste this and then we will write here Mohammed Ali and now press control f5 to run our code then here you can see this hello world hello 
Muhammad Ali. So the difference between dot right line and dot right is that is dot right line will uh, print the uh, print the code or you can say uh, print the message in single line and it will move the cursor to the second line and then it will execute the rest of the code and dot right will uh, write or print the message in the same line it will not move the cursor to the second line okay you can see that hello muhammad ali in one line it print the whole message so in this video we just uh, learn how to write our first hello world program in uh, using c sharp language in the uh, visual studio so yeah that's it for this video if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now